Well, it's eight o'clock on a Sunday morning and I'm at Yardley Goby and Marina, uh, just south of Toaster. The reason I'm showing you this is because the boat we're about to see, Nereus, was moored here. We've got an eight hour cruise ahead of us to take her back to our office. But there is a mooring available at that marina if you bought the boat and wanted to moor her there. Anyway, she's called Nerea. She's a 62-foot traditional stern narrowboat built by Steve Hudson in 2011. Nereus was a sea god in Greek mythology. It was a very busy one at that, actually. He had 50 daughters and one son. So there we go. She was built in 2011. Thick base plate on her, as a lot of these Hudsons do, 15 mil. She was last blacked three years ago, so she is due for blacking, but the owners agreed to pay for that if the boat comes out of the water for a survey when she sails. She was last serviced in 2020. Paint works, very nice condition. She's got a traditional engine room in there, and the engine itself is a Beta JD3 tug, 30 horsepower. Had a lovely motor up from Yard Lagobian, Gobian, actually. She ran very well. Portholes throughout, four of them open. A very good size well deck, six feet long. And the gas locker and storage locker, it's a good size locker actually, is there in the bows. The water tank's under the well deck, that's stainless steel, good size as well, 676 litres. So on we go, nice drop down table. That comes down off that glazed cratch board. Storage under the seats either side here. And there are two bow thruster batteries in the right hand locker there, top of the screen. The bow thruster itself is a no bell. Stable doors, glazed. In the boat we go. First class fit out this boat, lovely woodwork. Fitted out an oak tongue and groove with oak trim. L-shaped dinette, that turns into a spare double berth. There are two tables that go there, demountable tables. Solid fuel stove, that's a more so squirrel. There's an epping range in the boatman's cabin as well. We'll see that as we go through. All the wood on this boat, super thick and chunky. It's good solid stuff. Stereo in there, so Kenwood, CD player and radio. Radiator under there, the hot water, um, central heating rather on board is powered by a diesel hurricane boiler. It's a prism in the roof there. Two radiators and one tail rail on board. Head height on the boat, six foot six. The lighting is a mixture of LED and fluorescent bulbs. That's the view down the saloon. Saloon itself is 11 feet 6 inches long. The galley's next, 6 foot 7 inches. There's a Houdini hatch you just saw there. Microwave, oven and grill, and the Zanussi AquaCycle washing machine is under there. There is a travel power generator on board, 230 volts, there's plenty of actually, a 2.5 kilowatt inverter and the travel power generator. That's a three and a half kilowatt generator. Good sized cupboards under the sink here. And a four burner gas hob sits over the shoreline fridge. That's 12 volts, ice box in there. There's a side hatch here in the galley. There's a glazed inner windows on there. Keep the elements out, let the sunlight in. Got a nice little touch, a little cupboard under the gunnels. On we go, down a corridor into the bedroom. The bed itself is six foot six inches long, four feet wide. Lots and lots of storage underneath. A couple of cupboards above the head end. And a little dressing area at the foot end. A little dressing table with a mirror. Cupboard over there. Cupboard underneath. And a good sized wardrobe sits here, that goes around the corner, look. The bedroom itself, nine feet, two inches long. Reading lights over the bed there. Down the starboard side corridor into the bathroom. The loo itself is a Thetford cassette, there are two spare cassettes on board. There's a heated towel rail in here, that basin's ceramic. 
Such lovely woodwork. Really nicely done. There's a shower cubicle here, thermostatic mixer tap, that's tiled. Some very deep linen cupboards in between the shower and the cabin sides. One there and one underneath. Into the engine room. The engine room itself is six feet six inches long. Batteries are under there, along with the inverter under the floor there. Side hatches either side. There's the engine, beta tug, JD3. There's only 270 hours on the engine, by the way. All nice and clean and tidy. A couple of cupboards above and below the instrument panel there, an ignition switch. The travel power generator under the floor on the port side of the boat there. Then the back cabin, stunning in here. It's beautiful woodwork, lovely roses and castles. This drops down into a double bed, the traditional cross bed. So you could sleep six on this boat. The dinette in the saloon, the fixed double in this bed. Loads of storage. Another cupboard underneath where the mattress lives. Here's the drop down table. I think it's about two inches thick that wood. Beautifully done. So draw plenty of spares and things on board. There's the range I mentioned. Very nice condition. Storage under the couch on the starboard side of the boat. Now onto the back deck. I only found those chairs after I'd stood at the back for eight hours. That was rather annoying. <laughs> I found them this morning. There's the view from the helmsman's cabin. Uh, helmsman's view, rather. There are the traditional speed controls and push-pull gear change. Let's have another walk back through the boat. Cratch cover's in good condition. The paintwork's in good condition. Four domestic batteries on board, 135 amp hours. They were new in 2018. There's also two bow thruster batteries and a starter. Hot water on board is supplied by the engine when that's running, the Hurricane Central Heating System. Or well, there is an immersion heater as well on board when you're plugged into the landline. Which comes with all the necessary navigation equipment to just turn the key and go. So there we go. Absolutely lovely boat, Nereus. For a gallery of further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.